four-letter word. It inspired Ford to design a performance car that looked like it could deliver a sonic boom and up the pony car ante. Born in the rebellious 60s, Mustang was already an icon, but it needed a boost for a younger crowd, hungry for speed and performance with looks that stood out. More than 50 years after the Mustang turned the industry on its head, a new horse is joining the stable, sharing the iconic mock name. An all-electric, zero-emission game changer, delivering guilt-free performance for the next generation of thrill seekers. The newest member of the Mustang family, Mustang Mach-E. The things that come out of nowhere. Those are the ones that show up, change everything. You don't have to be loud to make a lot of noise. After all, that will spoil the element of surprise. What does Mach mean? A powerful four-letter word. It inspired Ford to design a performance car that looked like it could deliver a sonic boom and up the pony car ante. Born in the rebellious 60s, Mustang was already an icon but it needed a boost for a younger crowd, hungry for speed and performance with looks that stood out. More than 50 years after the Mustang turned the industry on its head, a new horse is joining the stable, sharing the iconic mock name. An all-electric, zero-emission game changer, delivering guilt-free performance for the next generation of thrill seekers. The newest member of the Mustang family, Mustang Mach-E.
things that come out of nowhere. Those are the ones that show up, change everything. What's up? How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Hello and welcome. I'm Idris Elba, and uh, I'm really, really proud to be here with you and the Ford family for this moment. Now, to all of you watching at home, around the world, to everyone that's here with me tonight, Route 66 is getting an upgrade, OK? For the first time ever, there is a new Mustang joining the stable. Not just a new model, but an all-new vehicle. The, yep, now make some noise. Go for it. Go for it. It's the all-electric Ford Mustang Mark E. It's also 
an SUV, so it's a new Mustang for a new age. Now listen, I know what you're thinking. Does the E in Mustang Mark E stand for Elba? Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't, it doesn't actually. But I do, I do have some Ford in my blood. Some of you might know this or not, but I used to work for Ford for two years. I, uh, I worked on the assembly line in Dagenham, East London. It's in my blood. Uh, this is while I was dreaming of being an actor. I did the night shift. I hated the night shift. I ain't gonna lie. But the reason I worked there is because my dad worked there for 25 years. And I wanted to follow his footsteps and... <laughs> And uh, my dad didn't want me to be a broke actor. My dad loved his job. He brought it home with him. It was our community. We drove Fords. It wasn't just a job to him or me. It was part of our lives. So I always, and still do, feel connected to the Ford family. But I love the Mustang. <laughs> like, I love a Mustang. So the, the reason that I'm here today is to help celebrate a magic moment that has been 55 years and 10 million cars in the making. For me, this brings this moment full circle. Make some noise. The new Mustang showed for the first time today. On top of the Empire State. It would become the car of the decade. The ultimate sports car. Only Mustang makes it happen. The Shelby Mustang GT. The 1968 Mustang stars in Steve McQueen's bullet. We have a liftoff. A great new era is just beginning. Mustang, number one for 1970. Arnelli Jones wins in a Mustang box. They have become known as muscle cars, and Mustang is king. So baby, I America's challenge to the great European road car. Introducing the exciting new Cobra 2 that curves like a snake. We have come a long way. My a sports car for the 80s. Ah. 1983. The boss is back. America's most popular sports car. Not car phones, street phones. The new Mustang GT with its unmistakable new body. But there's one thing about Mustang that will never change. The 1993 will be the last of the Mustang Fox body. Mustang has debuted its first major redesign in 15 years. It is called Internet, like a super highway. Bring on the next shot. Happy to Motor Company is celebrating its 100-year anniversary. The 2007 Shelby GT500. Mustang has been the star of over 300 films and counting. It's the best sports car ever made. Period. Every time we unveil a Mustang, the stakes are raised. Just like it was back in 1964. years of pure passion. Ford Mustang has become the most Instagram car in the world. Stop deal with legend. Oh my God! Ford 1000 NASCAR win! Mustang is now the best-selling sports coupe in the world. Everyone is wondering, what's next for Mustang? Wow. <laughs> what a ride. What a ride. Please welcome executive chairman to the Ford Motor Company, technically my former boss, <laughs> Bill Ford. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Well, hi, Idris. You know, we've always been so proud of you and your dad uh, being part of the Ford family. And I know for sure you're the first Ford employee ever to win a, a Golden Globe Award. <laughs> nice. Actually, I think the Mustang has made more movies than I have. And I've made a few. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Mustang, as you saw in that film, been in so many movies, it's been an icon for many, many years. Yeah. 
Well, it, it, we could see from that film and to everyone in the room what the Mustang actually means to people, right? Yeah, I mean, look, I've always loved our Mustang. It's the most iconic car in, in our history. Um, and when I first laid eyes on a Mustang, I think I was six years old and I was hooked forever. Um, my first car was a Mustang and I've, I've always owned them. I probably own way too many of them. Yeah. But 55 years later, it is still the all-American sports car. But amazingly, it has fans uh, and owners all around the world. Yeah. And so what is, I mean, what does the Mustang mean to you, personally? Well, it's the fusion of three great American ideas, fast, fun, and freedom. Uh, and it's got a soul to it. It makes you feel young. It makes you feel alive. Yeah. And that's what we've always tried to capture in the Mustang. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people might think this, but you've already nailed the Mustang. So why create a new member to the family now? Well, actually, technology finally brought us to the moment where something incredible was possible. Because yeah. I've always had two great passions at Ford. One was the environment, and the other was sports cars and driving fast. Um, <laughs> and, and I've always cared deeply about the environment uh, when, uh, when others in the industry thought I was crazy. And I think Ford has a responsibility to deliver cleaner uh, cars and trucks. But for too long, my two great passions were frankly diametrically opposed. Yeah. If you wanted to be green, you had to give up performance. And if you wanted to have performance, you couldn't be green. Yeah. That's not true anymore. We finally created a new, a new Mustang where it all comes together. Yeah. It's a true driver's car. It's better for the planet. And frankly, I've been waiting for this a long, long time. Yeah. So that's yeah. amazing. So it's fast and it's clean. Yeah, zero to 60 in mid three second range, that's pretty fast. Pretty fast. Uh, zero emissions, zero compromise, all the performance of a Mustang. So, I mean, making a car is hard work, but how, how hard was it to make this a reality? Well, two years ago, we had a small Ford team code, codenamed Edison, and they met in... Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I think we've got some of them here tonight. <laughs> I, I think they're all here tonight. At least I, I hope they are. Um, but they, they, uh, they got together in Corktown, which is Detroit's oldest neighborhood, and it's just blocks from my great-grandfather's first factory. And we gave them a mission, not just to make an electric car, but to make a great electric car. Yeah. But I got to admit, when they came to me and said they could make an electric Mustang, I was actually pretty skeptical, for the same reasons that I think many people in this room probably come into this uh, thinking. Uh, you don't mess with an icon. Yeah. But people uh, around the world who know and love Mustangs are very vocal about how much they love them. So I said, if any car is going to wear the pony, it's, it can't just look like a Mustang. It's got to drive like one, it's right. got to feel like one, yeah. and it has to have the soul of one. Yeah. And the team actually hit all the marks. And, and I mean, do you really think an electric car can perform like a Mustang? Yeah, I know it can. Uh, I've driven it, and it's a rocket ship. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> I mean, not to brag, OK? I, I broke a land speed record. Say, woo! <laughs> Uh, do you think I could break another record in this? I'd love to see you try. I, yeah, I think it'd be great. I'll be there cheering for you. <laughs> I love the confidence. Like you said, um, before you can call a car a Mustang, it's got to prove that it has the soul of a Mustang. So before we look at the new Mark E, let's see uh, what it feels like to drive. There it is. I don't know how, an SUV? I bet you that your friends will love this vehicle. All right. You go get your crew. I'll meet you out by the car. Let's do it. What do you got here, Ken? This looks fun. Wow, it's the new GT500. I don't think we're all going to fit in that. No, it's a great car. Is that really what we're here for? Well, this is our new GT500, but the car that you guys are going to get in is that one over there. Looks like we have a little more room to work with. Yeah, I've never seen one like that before. Well, you've never been in anything like that before. Let's go for a ride. Amazing. Awesome. Woo! Shotgun. Who's driving anyway? Me. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, everybody strapped in? We're ready. Oh, yeah. Ready. Let's crank up some tunes. How about some driving music? Let's go. Seriously? I'm used to going 200 miles an hour. Might as well just get out and walk. All right, Ricky, Bubby. Uh, we're not in NASCAR now, buddy. I but, wish um, we took the GT500. You guys aren't impressed, huh? Let me no. turn down the music. Hey, what's that? Is this an electric car? What do you think of this? Oh! 
That's more yeah. like it. That feels racy. Feels like a sports car. Good luck on my luck now. <laughs> I was actually driving pretty well. Ken, you're up front. What's it look like? I think he can push it a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Hal. It's absolutely glued. All right, Hal, this has been fun, but <clears throat> I think it's my turn to drive. I don't know if you can keep the shiny side up, Ken. <laughs> This is kind of what everybody fears. You know, you're in a prototype, yeah. Ken Block gets in the driving seat. <laughs> I don't remember agreeing to this. Did I tighten this up a little? This hump is really something. <laughs> nice. It, it drips. This is impressive. <laughs> this isn't your mom's SUV. No, oh, it's actually really impressive. What's the feel like in the wheel? The braking, the turn-in, everything is really nice. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever actually driven an electric car. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Thank you, Hal. To our viewers joining, I'm Jim Hackett, president and CEO of Ford Motor Company. We designed the Mustang Mach-E around people and what they will need and want on their journeys. Like every Mustang, it starts with freedom. Mach-E is fun to drive for sure, and we also know with today's busy lives, the customers like to stay connected while driving. So we've created simple technology that frees them from distraction and uncertainty. It starts with great cloud connectivity. Every new Ford today has fast 4G modems. And so does that new Mach-E. And Mach-E is our smartest Ford yet. It listens and observes to make helpful suggestions at the right time and place. And it can answer conversational requests. It's like your own personal assistant. It's a connected experience that makes every drive more enjoyable and freeing. Let's take a look. This is in-car connectivity that doesn't require stilted voice requests or multiple finger taps. And take a look at this image behind me. This is a common problem. When the design's not right, consumers will Frankenstein these additional phones onto their dashes. We challenge this team to fix this. And in the past, design teams, if you follow the automotive history, tried to literally move the same interfaces from like desktop PCs or from mobile devices to vehicles. This led to poor user experiences. In Mach-E, we use new technology programming and customer insight to give drivers a simpler, more friendly system to use on the move. It, it, it does include touch screens and voice commands and this cool single knob. It's not just an evolution in the connected car, it's a new interconnected experience between people, can you imagine the data that's going to be coming to these vehicles in the future? And machine-to-machine -machine communication, in other words, vehicle-to-vehicle, -vehicle, unlike anything you've ever seen. This is our next generation sync. Now here with me is Hussein Dakharoub from the team who developed this technology. And I want to tell you how proud I am of Hussein, Phil Mason, and a lot of other people in the room tonight. So Hussein, tell the crowd how you did this. Thanks, Jim, and good, good evening, everyone. We've reimagined how people interact with their vehicles. One thing we know is that customers want their technology to be familiar and easy to use. So our goal was for a visually appealing, modern interface, but also intuitive. It starts with a large touchscreen, and a familiar physical knob for those moments where you just want to grab a dial and crank that volume. Well, you know, and there's no complicated menu here. There's no, you have to drill down to find out. Everything is easy to see. This is a new interface, what we would call architectural type graphics. We get the best out of this whole screen by using every inch of it. 
but we also have built a screen behind the steering wheel in case you don't want your eyes to come off the road for key driver information. We looked at where to place each experience, cluster, steering wheel controls, voice, and the center display from a holistic perspective. We know people want their driver information in front of them, so we kept it there, unlike others. But people also said they prefer interacting with features on a touchscreen. So we took a lot of that content from the cluster that customers interact with and moved it into the center display. And this is where the flat architecture plays an important role. It takes advantage of the large screen size to bring more functions to the surface and reduce the amount of touches to reach your action. We designed this in a way that doesn't need a back button or a home button. You're one touch away from your main applications, a touch away from your vehicle controls to actuate your uh, vehicle controls within your vehicle, and it looks, it looks like you're a uh, Detroit rock fan. Uh, yeah, that's Journey's song they play at U of M like in the fourth quarter. Got the place rocking yesterday. <laughs> uh, go blue. <laughs> you see, you display what you want while still having quick access to your applications and the system menus. Well, the next generation sync does offer an even deeper level of personalization. You see, this is one of those smart systems. It adapts to each driver that's going to interact with the vehicle. That's right. Sync will get to know you. It will have your profile and preferences as you approach the vehicle through phone as a key or your key fob. And by opting in, it will learn your habits and provide you with suggestions. For example, Jim, it recognizes that you call your wife every day after work or you stop at a coffee shop on Saturdays. It will provide you these suggestions as quick actions so you can complete your task a lot quicker. And if your wife is behind the wheel, she gets the same adaptive experience. It's her profile and her preferences. You know, the people who work with me know that I, I talk about Kathy all the time and the way she works with the vehicle. So let's, let's show people what a trip would look like. Next Generation Sync was redesigned from the ground up to take full advantage of built-in high-speed connectivity. This will enable exciting new cloud-connected experiences. For example, for our drive back to LAX, you'll have the freshest maps, always cloud-streamed, live traffic data from millions of data points and the best routes. And for a city like LA, I've been here the past four days, you're really going to need that. <laughs> our system also has live charging data, and it will seamlessly add charging stations to your route to ensure you can reach your destination. It will also provide you with charging suggestions and alerts for complete charging confidence. But it doesn't stop there. Our cloud-connected assistant can understand regular speech and complex requests. Well, I know with Kathy, this would be something she likes because she doesn't want to take her hands off the wheel sometimes to have to touch the screen for information. Jim, you have the ability to select from various uh, wake words. For example, one of them is OK Ford. When you say OK Ford, the voice system wakes up, and then you can give it a command. Why don't we give it a try? OK Ford, take me to Jay Leno's garage. OK, starting route. Does Jay know we're coming? <laughs> yeah. Uh, OK, Ford. How about some coffee along the way? Best of all, oh. the vehicle also gets better over time with over-the-air software updates. Our community of owners are, is going to have a big say in how this vehicle improves. And they wouldn't have to wait to purchase a newer model to get these improvements. Using the cloud and how we built the systems in the vehicle, the upgrade process will be very seamless for our users. Hussein, thank you for all this. You and that team have re really created an incredible experience. This is, this is an amazing product with the new screen and the next generation sync. It's simple and intuitive, and its ability to adapt to you, I think, is going to be one of the killer features that makes driving so much more personal, all with great connectivity that delivers you the freshest data and continuous improvements. You know, at Ford, we believe that technology should serve people, not the other way around. OK, so now let's go to Ted Canis over here to unpack the Maki -E ownership experience. Ted? Owning the Mustang Maki -E is simple and easy. Wherever you're going, it starts to work with you before you get in the driver's seat. No more hunting for your keys. With Ford Pass, your smartphone is your key. Imagine, you're leaving your office at the end of a hot summer day or a cold winter one. 
but you can't remember where you parked. Ford Pass can locate your vehicle, check your charge status, preset the cabin temperature while you're packing up to leave. As you approach the car, it recognizes you, so its lights come on, and you can unlock it before you get to the door. By the time you get there, you're ready to go. The Mach-E delivered a targeted EPA range of over 300 miles on a single charge with rear wheel drive option. That makes your commute worry-free with plenty enough extra miles to drive the way you want to. Now you're thinking electric vehicles aren't built for all four seasons. A myth. The Mach-E is extreme weather tested. Not only does it handle well, but in deep snow, the feedback from the throttle is immediate in a way that only a battery electric can be. Not sure about electric vehicle because it means hunting for a charging station? Another myth. 80% of charging is done at home. We will give you a Ford mobile charger you can use to charge overnight. Maybe you have free charging at the office. The mach -E is smart. It knows to charge just enough at home so you can get to work and charge. And out on the road and around town, DC fast charging delivers up to 47 miles in 10 minutes. Yet another myth is that there are no charging stations. They just don't have signs like gas stations. With the largest network of any automaker, you will easily find chargers. And then you've also got the freedom to roam. The Mach-E is cloud connected, so you'll always see the latest chargers added to the network. And thanks to our relationship with some great partners, Mach-E owners have access to the Ford Pass charging network with more than 12,000 stations in North America and growing. Weekend warrior excursion, unscheduled detour, Ford Pass helps you to find the best places to charge and seamlessly pay for it. Ford Pass is there for you in Europe as well. We are a founding partner in Ionity and will provide you with membership access to their network of more than 400 high-speed charging stations, as well as thousands more chargers from other partners across the continent. And with secure over-the-air software updates, you'll be able to upgrade your Mach-E over time with the latest product and performance enhancements, including hands-free driving capability. That is what hassle-free experience feels like. Pretty good. The all-electric lifestyle has never been easier thanks to Ford. Now, let's take a look at how we brought the Mach-E experience to the world. I'll never forget the first time my father brought home the Mustang. I just remember thinking it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Mustang means driving really fast on the highway, listening to some really loud music. It's about power, it's about performance. It's freedom, it's independence. It's something emotional, it comes from the heart. It's a magical feeling, it's part of your life. We needed to do something that was gonna be state-of-the-art, cutting edge, and exciting. A four-door SUV electric. Are you guys crazy? To take your most cherished icon and pledge it to electrification, it's unheard of. It was exhilarating, but it also scared the shit out of me. The heart of the company's on trial here. But this is where the magic happens. This is the spirit of Ford. You guys need to create a new icon. This could be something really unique. We have to deliver on it. It's gotta be fun to drive. That was awesome. It's gotta be eye-catching. Most of all, it's gotta go like hell. This is the future. Guilt-free transportation with iconic design. I said to the team, this is a Mustang. You better drive like one. It was awesome. We are bringing performance and environmental friendliness in one vehicle in a way that we've never been able to do before. It's an incredible Mustang. What a great story. So, Bill, I'm, I'm getting the sense that your teams have created something really special. And uh, we've heard the new addition to the Mustang family is a sleek four-door version. Uh, how did that come about? Well, that's a really important point, because the Mach-E is a new family member. Uh, we're always going to make the Mustang car that everybody loves, and this doesn't replace that.
But at some point, though, even the most rebellious Mustang lovers move into a different phase of life. But you don't have to give up your Mustang. You mean well, have kids? Well, you have kids or just <laughs> decide that they need a little more room. But this, this one fits the whole family and everything you want to put into it. Now, you said earlier that Mustang re re represents fast, fun, and freedom. Does the marquee stand up to that? Yeah, it sure does. I mean, it's really fast. Uh, it's got instant torque and instant power. It go, goes zero to 60 in under four seconds. But it's also really fun. I mean, that's the other thing. You know, it's and also the entirely new connected experience uh, that you just saw a minute ago, that's fabulous. Uh, and you're about to see what makes it a Mustang on the outside. Yeah. Your friends will, uh, I think, instantly recognize it as a Mustang, one with enough space and power to do whatever you want and wherever you want. And talk to me about the freedom part, because, you know, most people wonder about the range of an electric car. How far can it travel on a full battery? Well, it's got up to a 300 mile range, uh, and that's freedom from the gas pump, but frankly, it's also freedom from oil changes. Right, so creating this Mustang was a real journey, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it really was a journey, and I'm so proud of all the teams at Ford for creating the Mach-E. The design, the engineering, the software and hardware teams, they all pushed the limits of what was possible. And then our Ford Performance team got involved, and they pushed even further. Yeah. And they created something that I think is really incredible. Yeah. And so, you know, we're talking about, you know, the Ford's first all-electric vehicle. And, you know, they say the best ideas come from Silicon Valley, right? But it was Detroit who put the wheels, who put the world on wheels, right? <laughs> so do we think that Detroit can change the world again? Oh, absolutely we do. And this car is proof of that. It's fast, it's all electric, has amazing user experience. Now, you mentioned how excited it was the first time you ever saw a Mustang. I mean, are you, are you ready, really, really ready <laughs> to show the marquee for the first time? Yeah, absolutely, I can't wait. Let's, let's show the world. All right, all right. So here to give a little help, please make some noise for the Detroit Youth Choir. <laughs>
let's hear it for the Detroit Choir. That was fantastic. Now, at the first auto show in Detroit, Henry Ford said he was working on something that would strike like fork lightning. Well, I feel like lightning just struck twice. We've sold more than 10 million Mustangs, and everybody has a Mustang story. I remember seeing my first Mustang as a child in Vietnam. My dream was to own one someday. Little did I know at that time that I would have the chance to serve as the chief engineer on the fifth generation of this iconic product. And now, I'm fortunate enough to have the opportunity to help write the next chapter of this storied vehicle. It's been a long time coming. Please join me in welcoming the Mach-E, the latest addition to the Mustang stable. Isn't it gorgeous? With its powerful stance, sculpted body side, and fast roof line, Mach-E is instantly recognizable as a Mustang. We've completely redesigned this vehicle around electric propulsion to deliver a sleek exterior and a spacious interior. Inside, Mach-E signals the future with a modern cockpit while offering exceptional roominess. There's plenty of room for five passengers, as you saw earlier when I gave Ken Block and his crew a ride. There's also room for cargo, thanks to our flat load floor, flexible and configurable seating, and an innovative trunk in the front end of the vehicle that could hold enough luggage for a weekend getaway. Maki delivers incredible power, instant torque, and agile handling. It feels so planted thanks to a lower center of gravity than most SUVs. And it offers the confidence in all weather with rear wheel drive and responsive all wheel drive. Maki flatters the novice and rewards the expert driver, a hallmark of Mustang. With a targeted EPA range of 300 miles, it takes you wherever you want to go. All of that with zero gas and zero emissions. This vehicle benefits from our human-centered design approach. Your Mach-E doesn't just perform, it knows you, and it continuously adapts to your habits. The next-generation Sync Intelligent Voice Activated System makes it seamless to access all of the information you want, when you want it. We really believe that Mach-E won't just set the pace for Ford's electric vehicles, it'll set the pace for all vehicles. Now, if you like what you see tonight, you can register your interest on our website, which will open at the end of this event. After this kind of news, it seems like it should be a wrap, doesn't it? But it wouldn't be a Mustang reveal without a Mustang GT. So, we thought we would take advantage of our venue here, the Jet Center, and have some serious performance training. Have a look for yourselves. Let's roll the film.
<laughs> yes, Bill. This is one bad Mustang. Yeah, it sure is. It goes like hell, Idris. Uh, it gals uh, to 60 in the mid three second range, and that's as fast as the Ferrari Portofino. Yeah. And you know how much we like beating Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. I've been driving Mustangs my entire, GTs my entire life, but to get an all electric version, that's really special. Very, very, very special. This is a very exciting moment for the Ford team. Like, very, very exciting for Mustang, yeah? Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I mean, this is a Mustang for a new generation, but I also think longtime Mustang fans like me will also, they'll love it as well. But I'm, what I'm most excited about is the lasting impact and what this means for the future of the Ford Motor Company. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here and around the world, the Ford Mustang Mach-E. These beautiful vehicles are a welcome addition to the Ford family and a proud drive forward in true Mustang style. Thank you all for joining us from around the world to celebrate this milestone for Ford and for the future of electric vehicles. And don't forget, you can go to the Ford site in your respective market and reserve your Mustang mach -E starting right now. All right, so Bill, you were right. I mean, this is, this is awesome. I think I'll be the first in line, the first. So congratulations to everyone and the whole team. Well done. Thank you, Idris. Thank you. But actually, you won't be first in line. I hate to break it to you. You, you could be second in line. Uh, but I love the company and all our cars, but I have to say, this is already one of my favorites. Hey, thank you all for joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you.